Seven News update here. That, that company running a plant closing in the upstate and sending a lot of employees on a job hunt has at the same time been renovating a facility in a prison in Greenville County. And some of the more than 100 jobs being lost at the plant will soon be done by inmates. 7 News' Nikkel Smith is joining us. She has more details on this. Nikkel. Yeah, Tom and Gordon Shaw Industries informed employees Monday that they're closing the Lawrence County facility this summer. Some in Clinton say it's wrong that jobs are going to inmates, while others say it's good to prepare them for life after prison. Regardless, the Shaw plant's closure has shaken the community. What will we expect to hear? Clinton Mayor Bob McLean says the closure of the Shaw Industries plant just outside the city limits came as a surprise. The Anderson family started that in 1946, maybe 10, 10 or 15 years ago. Shaw Industries, which is a global company, bought them out. The Georgia based flooring company announced Monday that this location, quote, cannot produce the styles of products that consumers desire today. Therefore, it's shifting production to other operations in the southeast. Shaw says Tiger River and Perry Correctional Institutions will also absorb some of the volume. The South Carolina Department of Corrections tells 7 News as part of their prison industries operation, Shaw's had a long-standing contract operating a hardwood flooring plant at Tiger River. SCDC says the company is renovating facilities at Perry Correction and is expected to employ about 50 inmates in addition to supervisors from Shaw. Inmate workers will apply finishing touches to hardwood flooring and Shaw will pay at least minimum wage. Prison officials say the jobs added in correctional facilities are not a direct result of the plant shutdown and we're told the program is designed not to affect private sector jobs and must be approved by state and federal government. CDC and Lawrence County leaders say they're working to help the displaced workers. It's sad. I hate to see it happen, but um, there's a lot of opportunities right now in Lawrence County. And the CDC says the Shaw facility at Perry is in the final stages of approval from various state agencies and is expected to be open in February of 2020, Tom. Well, how about these uh, prison industries, Nikkel? Are, are these pretty common? Yeah, so they say there are about 1,200 inmates across the state that are actually involved with this. The CDC says it kind of offsets the cost of incarceration, saves those companies some money, and it also helps to prepare the inmates and give them skills for entering society, Tom. That sounds like a good program, but uh, maybe not so good right now for the people in Lawrence County losing those jobs. All right, Nikkel, thank you.